this video, we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to connect power to the Magna 3 32 pump. All of the detailed instructions for this process, you can find them in the Magna 3 Model D installation and operations instructions, or you can also find it in the Magna 3 Model D data booklet. For this training, we've already installed the pump in one of our technical training lab units. We've already filled the system with fluid and we've vented it. Now, prior to working on the pump, make sure that you take any safety precautions that are necessary. And the only tools that are required for this installation is just a small screwdriver or a T20 Torx wrench, an adjustable wrench to tighten the cable gland, and three small wire nuts. So to start the process, I'm going to use my Torx driver and remove the front screws from the pump. And here you can see the three wires for the pump. And if you'll notice, they already come pre-stripped, so all you'll have to do is slide off the insulation. Now the Magna 332, it's dual voltage, single phase pump. So it can be wired either 115 volt or 230 volt supply. Now when you're using the 115 volt, like we're going to in the demonstration today, the black wire is the hot leg, the green is the ground, and then the white is your neutral. But if you're wiring it using 230 volt supply, you use the white wire for your second hot leg. So first, we're gonna install the cable gland into the bottom of the control box. And we'll just hand tighten the connection to the control box for the moment. Next, we're going to slide our power supply cable up through the cable gland. And I'm going to just lightly tighten my cable gland for the moment just to hold the wires in place. Then I'm going to slide off the insulation off our black hot wire. And I'm going to twist that together with our black hot wire supply. Once I've got those two twisted together, I'm going to secure it with a wire nut. Then next, I'm going to pull the insulation off of our white neutral wire. And we'll twist that together with our neutral white supply wire. And we'll secure that connection with the wire nut. Then we'll remove the insulation from the green ground wire. Twist that together with our green supply wire for our ground. And secure that connection with the wire nut. Once all of the connections are secure, we'll put them back into the control box. And we're going to go ahead and tighten up our cable gland more just to secure our power cable. and then tighten that with a wrench. Cable secure. So we're going to go ahead and put the front cover back on the control box and tighten the screws by hand for a moment. Then we'll go ahead and tighten them with our Torx driver. Then once all the power connections are complete, then we'll supply power to the pump. And we've completed our power connections. 
This completes our demonstration on how to connect power to the Magna 3 32 pump. If you'd like to learn more about the Magna 3, we recommend that you watch some of our other technical training videos on how to run the startup wizard, the operations and control modes, as well as some of the other training content that we have available for the Magna 3. Those are all on the Grundfos Technical Institute website or contact your nearest distributor. We hope you've enjoyed this short video and thank you.